Moving on then, file handling works in two ways. We can write to a file and similarly the purpose of it is that we can read from the file. This is the bit that's really going to help when it comes to opening up an application and still having access to the data that we used previously when we ran the program. So the example we're going to look at here is build on the previously developed petition application so that there is a view petition button which displays the user's name from the file petition.txt. Again, we have a certain number of steps. Identify the file with the correct name. Create a character stream to use to read the data from the file. Create a buffered stream to enable reading of the data more than one character at a time. Read the data from the file and close the buffered stream. So now let's write the code for the view petition button. So again, back into our design, now we're going to need to add a button, a view petition button. Let's edit the text, view petition. And I'll just, for consistency, change this font to 18. Let's change the variable name to view btn and double click to create the action performed method. So here we have it, view button action performed method. And in here is where we want to write the code to read the name back out from the text file. Now again, we're going to read the name, so it needs to be stored somewhere. So we'll do string name again in here. Okay, and then remembering our steps, we need to create a connection or identify the file that we're going to read from. So that's going to be file, and this time I'll call it in file. Obviously you can name it whatever you want file reader is the next, that's the character stream, and that's going to be F4. Then we have the buffered reader, B or, and you'll see that these names are very similar to the ones that we used for writing, except we're replacing writing with writer with reader. Okay, so file writer has become buffer file reader and buffered writer has become buffered reader. Okay, again, they're underlined. It's saying we can't find the symbols. So we right click and fix imports and that imports the necessary files for us. And now the next step is to create those objects. Now, remembering, of course, if we're doing anything to do with file handling, we need to have our try catch. So we'll put that in as we go now. So we're going to try in file equals new file. And this one is petition.txt. F or equals new file reader. And this takes in file as a parameter. B or is a new buffered reader and it takes F or as a parameter. Okay, so again, we're putting our character stream inside our buffered stream and our file inside our character stream. We create each of those objects. The next step then is to read the data from the file. So name equals B or, so we're using the last one here that we created, we use to read B or dot read line, which will read a line from the file. Okay, and it will recognize the return character or new line characters, and that's where it will stop. So it will read up until it gets to the new line character. And then j option pane dot show message dialog null name plus name. So there we're just printing the name that we've read from the file. And then we're going to close our B reader, B or dot close. You'll see we still have a mark here highlighting that we have a try with no catch. So we need to make sure to do our catch. Again, same as the last time, IO exception E, system dot out dot print, LN. And I'll just print the exception itself for now, but you can give um, clearer error messages than that when you do it yourself. So this then should print 
the contents of the file. And the way that we're going to know if this works is if we play the application and without entering in a signature, we hit view petition. And see, Joe was the last person that we wrote to the file, so it gives us Joe. Okay, and that's reading text from a file in a nutshell. So you'll see if we want to write, we put our name in here. We submit signature. It's been submitted. Thank you for signing our petition. And then we view petition name Francis Sheridan. Okay.